So we have a lot of new updates for GMT right now. So I highly recommend you guys to watch the entire video to really understand what is happening here to this token. And of course, if you do enjoy this video, mean search me. If you can like this video, comment down below and subscribe to my channel. Okay, let's go and check it out. So here we are, core market cap right now. The market cap here for Steppen or for GMT is basically two billion dollars. The volume here did go down actually by forty percent at one point one billion dollars. Right now, the price of one ticket token is three dollars and forty five cents. So the price did go down, but basically we did hit my predictions here. Right now, we're kind of below my prediction, but still step in did increase here. Like GMT did increase here in the last like seven days, which is pretty cool still. Now, what is happening? What is the new update? So let's go here directly through the Twitter and let's talk about it. So this is what they posted on the 1st of May. So the sneaker, yes, that's that's update. So say so here, step in public beta phase four starts today. Saying here, as part of our user experience, enhancement plan, you're doing an exclusive BNB chain sneaker drop to our Solana Genesis sneaker holders. So one through 1000, each Solana a Genesis sneaker will receive a BNB chain shoe box. Okay, so shoe boxes. So please note, these BNB chain sneakers are SOG, Solana Original Gangster. Sneakers which are not a Genesis sneaker grade and will not qualify for further Genesis sneaker perks. It says, we will start the airdrop from 2.30 p.m. UTC on the 3rd May. Airdrop lasts 24 hours. Stay tuned for part B. And there you go. So basically, a massive airdrop is happening here to GMT. So people who own these kinds of NFTs are going to get like boxes. Yeah, shoe boxes. So BNB chain shoe boxes which is super interesting to see like what's gonna happen with like these shoe boxes also look at this so join the monday twitter discussion space with brandon uh brand dog solana so make sure to follow us on twitter like retweet and comment below to get the chance to win a genesis nft common shoe box so yeah you check it out for yourself uh, today at 11, uh, 11 a.m. Did that be happening pretty soon? I got no idea. So we're going to see what's going to happen with this, but it's a super duper interesting. So this year, for a limited time, we are bringing back the double mint activity. So shoe minting only costs GMT. Now, chance to receive a twin has increased 300%. That's pretty cool. Look at engagement here. 5,000 likes here and 2,000 retweets. So that is huge. Like huge engagement is happening. Welcome to the Stephen official community. Another Solana project now available on OpenSea. Even better, uh, Coinbase assets. So, Coinbase will add support for GMT and, and GST. GST will be listed uh, with ex uh, experimental label. So, learn more about experimental label here. So, yeah, basically listed, not really directly listed on, on uh, Coinbase, but still getting listed on Coinbase is something that's gonna happen in the future. Of, uh, these two coins if you didn't know GMT is the main coin, but if you do use the app if you do your earn money from it You're gonna get GST Money you're gonna get GST coins from it and then you can sell your GST coins So how much is the GST? So if you go here to so GST, it's called the green Satoshi token if you enter this it's six dollars at one point it was I think even more yeah, it was at all-time high it looks like it was at eight dollars almost nine dollars here for a second but if you look at the last one month you can see basically that the worth of one coin was actually at uh four dollars so the increase here was pretty good so if you're asking me you basically if you, if you bought and sold somewhere here you basically doubled your money which is absolutely insane and super cool to see it is a good project like people are backing this project the problem i'm seeing is that the rewards are going to be lower for using the app which is pretty much okay but the first thing you have to pay a lot of money to actually start using it so that's how things work right now until a better business model is made where things get easier like things get can get cheaper it's not going to be sustainable and that's the problem so because it all depends on how many NFTs they actually have and how many NFT they're actually going to sell because they're mo making the most profits from the NFTs. So if they actually make like new NFT drops every single like month or two months, then that could be something that's going to be worth so much more in the future. But we're going to see. We're going to see what's going to happen here. It all depends on how people will accept this and that's it. So if people don't accept this, uh, and if they cut the rewards, will people still want to actually use it? That's again the question because 
I saw you can basically make from 50 to 100 dollars per day from just using the app here which is a lot of money we have to first spend like twelve hundred dollars or fifteen hundred dollars to get those nfts and then you can start earning so i don't know if this is going to be long lasting and that's my problem with it because it's going to be super hard but these guys like they have a big team behind this project and because they have a big team behind this project there's a chance here that stefan can actually do it and that's it i've been seeing a lot of like mini tokens being made of like this move to earn movement where we're seeing like tons of new projects here that are trying to copy what Stefan is doing right now where you can basically run use the app here have some nfts and actually earn money from it so yeah we're gonna see we're gonna see what's gonna happen here to Stefan and the rest of the projects here uh but if you look at the chart if you look at the price here uh i did predict here i did show you guys that basically we're gonna hit probably to 3.8 Eight. and we did get past this level we actually made a new all-time high at 4.4 which is pretty okay because if anybody bought and this low here would have made a hundred percent profit if they stood at the top so hopefully people didn't sell because still we have a lot of potential here the problem with step right now is that it is going up but it's going up in a market that's a bear market right now so because we're in a bear market even if you see these kinds of increases this like massive moment the problem is it's going to decrease eventually and it will reject the price because people are just in a selling mood. The whole market is going down so Stepin will eventually go down with the market. And the price of Stepin, like the market cap of Stepin already is like like I said 2 billion which is a lot of money. It's not like it, it's a like 200 million or like a 20 million coin and then you can make a lot of profits. It's basically, basically 2 billion dollars so that's a lot of money. That needs to be moved if we want to double again so we're gonna need like two billion more if we want to double the price again which is again a lot of money but it could happen if we get listed on multiple different exchanges and will this will step and get listed on multiple different exchanges? yes i do believe so they have the money they have the means they have the strategy and plus like big people are working with them the team here is pretty good and hopefully in the future gonna have even more partnerships so we're gonna see what's gonna happen with that but yeah gmt here has a lot of potential actually it really does it's just i'm seeing some shortcomings in the future i don't know how they're gonna fix that because like i said you're gonna need those nfts but if those nfts actually go down and they're not worth anymore what's gonna happen then basically you're in, you're in totally in the minus so it all depends it basically all depends on what's going to happen in the future and how they're going to add more nfts is if if we buy all the nfts like how are new people going to start to buy nfts if we already bought all the nfts that's why i've been saying like if they had like new drops that's a different thing then so we're gonna see like i said we're gonna see what's gonna happen here in the end guys i'm not a financial advisor if you do want to invest into these coins please do your own research first hopefully you guys did enjoy this video if you didn't mean search me if you can like this video comment down below and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching and see you guys in the next video